and welcome to the Have Knitting Podcast. My name is Christy. Um, I'm back in my usual little <laughs> recording studio, which is just my daughter's room. Da daughter's room. Last time I was recording in my son's room, so if the background colours keep changing, I'm sort of switching between bedrooms. I hope this finds you well. It is Sunday. Um, I recorded on... I recorded on Friday, but I really wasn't very happy with it. I think I got a bit rambly. Um, and it was only 20 minutes, but I'm trying to avoid the rambles. Um, so I'm recording again today. Uh, if you can hear odd noises in the background, my kids are tidying up. So my oldest daughter is currently vacuuming. So if you can hear a low buzz, that's what that is. Um, so yeah, we've had... We've had a, um, a really, the first part of the week was super hot. Oh, my husband and I, um, uh, last Saturday night went and saw Star Wars. That was fun. Um, we so rarely go on a date that it was so nice to go and watch a movie together. Um, so <laughs> we got not the biggest tub, but we got a large tub of popcorn and I think, I think I ate most of it and a drink each because... You know, if we go with kids, I take lollies and stuff. Um, I usually go to the like the local, uh, like a, we've got a little supermarket um, up in the town centre of where I live. So I go there and I get, you know, a few lollipops and um, like a bag of lolly snakes or whatever. And we should have shared that out during the movies. But we never buy popcorn and stuff because it's too hard with little kids. They just, you just end up with popcorn everywhere. So we got a, and I love, I love movie popcorn. So we got, a, we got a big bucket of movie popcorn. And um, because we went up to Katoomba, uh, for those of you that know the Blue Mountains area, the cinemas up in Katoomba is generally quiet. And we sat in the really big, like IMAX. So like the huge, big, huge, 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 big screen. Um, yeah, cinema. That seats a huge amount. <laughs> it's like going to the opera, like the way the... Um, or something like it's not like a normal cinema it's bigger and the seats are steeper and anyway so that was good it was good to be out with my husband it was good to go see Star Wars um, while we were away um, just after New Year's we went to my husband's brother's place and we watched um, Ant-Man and the second Captain America and I have to say that I really enjoyed Star Wars. I love the fact that it was a strong female figure that took the lead. That was awesome. And I can't wait for my daughters to see it. But just quietly, I prefer Captain America and probably Ant-Man too. So I don't I don't know. I think I'm a sucker for a, for a superhero. So so anyway, so if you, not that this is a movie reviewing blog, but um, if you have not seen Star Wars, um, then I definitely recommend it. Um, it's rated M in Australia, I don't know about elsewhere, so that was the reason why the husband and I went without the kids, because we just weren't sure what to expect, but there's no bad language. Um, there's, you know, I mean there is a bit of fighting, but it's not overly graphic so um, I think that we could happily um, let our kids watch that which is good I think because um, they're all they haven't seen the other six movies yet uh, I think we're going to have to introduce them to all, <laughs> to all of those movies but um I mean like there was a dad with two small children sitting in the row in front of us and they didn't the kids didn't get upset so um, yeah although in saying that it's really like my children I watched Ant Man because it's rated PG. Um, so you know, I've got the I've got the baby, and then then a three year old, a five year old, a seven year old, a nine year old, and a twelve year old. Um, my twelve year old nephew has seen Captain America, I think, but that's rated M. And because it, the second one, the second Captain, I haven't seen the first one. I fell asleep during it twice. Uh, but the second Captain America is quite violent, whereas Ant Man wasn't particularly violent. So my kids watch that, but my my five year old constantly asks questions, which is great. It's it's really good, but I can just imagine sitting in 
<laughs> in a cinema. I mean, like it wasn't overly packed. There, you know, not even a third of the cinema was taken up with with people when we when we saw Star Wars. But I can just imagine sitting there in the middle of the cinema and my five year old trying to ask us questions about the story about the storyline. So probably best just to watch that at home with him. Um, but we also took the kids to see the Snoopy movie um, last week as well. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, and that was good. That was um, that was really enjoyable. Um, yeah, it was just it was a sweet it was a sweet movie. I think it made me a little bit teary at the end. It was just yeah, it was sweet. So th those are my have knitting and movie reviewing. <laughs> so yes, anyway, so let's let's talk knitting. Um, this. Uh, this last week it was really hot for the first three or four days and I mean uh, look it admittedly it could have been hotter but when I say it was hot I was sitting at the computer desk in my pajamas one morning and I just I could feel the sweat just running under my <laughs> under my clothes I went and got showered shortly after that that's just and if that was too much information I'm sorry but that's how hot it was it was vile um and so we, um, yeah, we had quite a few hot days. And then Thursday we were meant to, uh, I was going to take the kids down to Penrith to escape, well, A, to escape the heat and B, finish off some school shopping that we needed to do. Um, but my two boys were mucking up too much and I didn't want to go out in public and put myself under that kind of stress of trying to stay on top of their behaviour outside of the home. And... Um, so we stayed home and I'm so glad we did because we had a few thunderstorms up here that, you know, weren't much of anything. But they had some very violent storms down there. So I, I said to my five-year-old um, after I'd heard about the storms, um, I, I said to him, I do not appreciate your bad behaviour, but I am thankful that you were naughty because that meant we didn't get caught up in those storms. And he's just sort of looking at me confused with this little smile on his face like I think I'm still in trouble but I, I don't know <laughs> so it's quite it was quite funny um and so Friday it was raining for most of the day um my husband has just swapped shifts so for the first part of last week he wasn't getting home until eight nine o'clock well like eight thirty nine o'clock at night and then on Friday for the first time in something in over a year um, except for when he's weekends and holidays, he actually got home before seven o'clock at night and that continues all this week. And I think the following week. And so it's just changed everything to have him home for like for dinner and for bedtime routine and everything has just been amazing. I just, it changes everything, um, and takes so much pressure off me. He's, I mean, like he's gone in the morning, but you know, what can you do about that? Um, so yeah, I think it's just changed how I feel about the last week as well and even the week coming so we've got a week about a week and a half left to school holidays before they all start um going uh they don't all go at once which is a good thing so uh on the 28th i have three go including one who's starting high school and then we have the weekend and then i have one starting preschool and then we have um she has two days of preschool and then we have and then it's wednesday and then my son starts kindy on Thursday. So it's all stretched out over a week, which is nice. But anyway, let's stop knitting because I'm almost 10 minutes in. I haven't talked about anything. So because it was so hot, I didn't, I was knitting, but I only was really concentrating on one project because it was just too hot. Who wants to, I mean, I knit. I'm not a seasonal knitter. I will knit anytime. Um, but I was just hot and sweaty and exhausted and just would rather just flake out than actually knit. So my main, the thing that I have been working on the most was my Shetland shorty. And so I finished the front bands um, and the neck band and everything. I picked up all the stitches. I do not like picking up stitches. I've finished the left front. Is that the left front? Yeah, that's... Um, I do not like picking up stitches. I really, really don't. Um, but I have to say that I really appreciated the way that Gudrun um, explains it in the pattern. She said, she says, uh, don't concentrate so much on the uh, on the stitch count. Uh, concentrate more on getting uh, three stitches for every four rows. 
And so then, because I'm a stickler for rules, so that took off a lot of the pressure and I was able to just concentrate. So, um, and, and, and she said, you know, if you have more stitches, decrease. And if you have less, increase. So I think I had, I increased one stitch on one side and two stitches on the other. And I only had to rip it back, like rip back each side once to just pick up more stitches because I wasn't picking up enough. So that was good. Um, the only tip that I can share for as someone who really doesn't like picking up stitches, if you are like me and you avoid projects that have <laughs> picking up stitches, use a sharp needle. Um, I am working on my wispy cardigan. Well, no, I haven't worked on it for about a year. I'm going back to work on my wispy cardigan. Um, I've got a sleeve to sew and then I've got to pick up over 100 stitches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy myself a higher, higher sharp in the right in the right size and use that because that's nice and sharp, um, obviously because it's called a higher, higher sharp. And hopefully, that will be, yeah, that that will help as well. So um, the front bands are done in short rows, so I use the German short rows as well. Uh, if you've only just started watching, the yarn is uh, Joe Sharp Mulberry Silk Georgia in. The watermelon colorway it's really nice and soft it's really i really love it i'm looking forward to wearing it so i've just got the armbands to do on both sides so my aim is to get those done this week and um and yeah and maybe maybe next week if it's not too hot you'll you'll see me wearing it so that's that hooray um so after I finished that, I decided to give myself a little bit of a break um, from picking up stitches and and all the rest. And um, I thought, oh, I'll start on a new sock. I um, have been watching Susan B. Anderson's podcast, and she likes to knit socks from sock blanks. And I've been really, really keen to try a sock blank. Um, and so while I was listening to her podcast, I went looking. I was looking at Gail's art. She didn't have anything available unless I wanted to buy a three month subscription, I would rather try knitting from a sock blank first to figure out whether I liked it before I, um, before I committed to a, three of them. Um, so I just kept looking on Etsy and I found an Australian dyer called Pickle, the store is called Pickle & Co. Not only does she have sock blanks, she had two available, um, she also had a 20% off sale. So uh, for the sock blank itself, I paid about $20 and I can't remember what it was for shipping, for postage, but it was under 30. So that's brilliant. Like really considering that some of the sock blanks I was looking at were, would have cost over $50 for the, uh, for postage and for the, the actual sock blank. So hopefully by the time I record next time that would have arrived. So I'm really, really excited to work with that. So when I started thinking about sock knitting and um, and what I wanted to do next, um, because you know me, I don't like vanilla socks. Um, I like the look of them. I just don't want to knit them for whatever crazy reasons going on in here. I thought instead of starting another sock yet again, I'm going to finish what I've got. And this was this is uh, my Hermione's Everyday sock in Regia. I can't remember the color name, but it is in my pattern projects page um, and I had stopped knitting it because I needed to measure the foot and I just hadn't got around to it so I did that I had about um, a centimeter and a half and then I decrease and then I, and then I just started the decreases so I finished this off on Friday night whilst watching my big fat Greek wedding oh that movie is so funny <laughs> oh the dad makes me laugh so hard so hard I'm like yeah, just to, yeah, I've got it on DVD um, and the last two times I've watched it I've almost cried laughing. It's just that dad cracks me up. Um, yeah, I want to, apparently they're making a second one or they've made a second one. I really want to see that. That and Zoolander 2. I have to get, our local video store died as uh, closed so I can't even go and, watch, go and hire out Zoolander so I can watch the first one. I might just have to see if I can get it cheap somewhere. I love Ben Stiller and oh, Owen Wilson. Luke and Owen Wilson, they crack me up. Anyway, sorry. Again, movies. <laughs> Have movie and movie reviews. <laughs> just, just in case, you know, knitting wasn't interesting enough. <laughs> so this is my Herm finished Hermione's Everyday Sock. Yes, I've got to knit the other one. Um, I'll get there 
we'll get there eventually, maybe in about three years. And um, this is how much yarn, you buy two balls of it, um, and that's how much yarn I've got left over, and that's quite a bit of, quite a bit of yarn, no I haven't weighed it, but just by the looks of it, that's quite a bit. So I'm thinking of knitting a little monster. I've got quite a few, I know quite a few people that have had babies recently, so I thought I might just make little monsters for little girls, because um, they'd be quite pretty. So there's that. And so after I finished my Hermione's Everyday Sock, um, I had the Knitting Guild yesterday and I just wanted to take something relatively simple. I didn't want to have to sit there picking up stitches or having to concentrate too hard. So this is my Serta Heart and Soul. You would have seen this last year, just before my son started transition because I was going to design a sock with it or something. I don't know. It's a self striping yarn. I'll get out the tag. Serta Heart and Soul. A shade 0165 and I these are just these are my colors all over just pink and teal just my colors so I started designing a sock but I really have not been happy with it so I ripped it all back and just decided to do a vanilla latte sock because like I said there's a problem with my brain and I can't just knit a vanilla sock so I thought if I do a vanilla latte sock when I get my sock blank I can either do the vanilla latte sock or I can just do a plain stockinette stock. So I'm moving away from the highly patterned socks that I love to knit. My f The first sock I knit was a monkey sock by Cookie A. Um, so I've never just knit anything plain or anything just ribbed. It's always been patterned sock. So I'm actively trying to move away from that so I can just knit. So I can just knit something plain. Um, because let's face it, when those socks are on, those highly patterned socks are on my feet, they look sensational. Fen, yes, but nobody can see them. I'm wearing them in the middle of the of winter, and my legs get, you know, go all the way down to the my legs. <laughs> of course, my legs go all the way down to the bottom of my ankles. <laughs> my pants go all the way down to the bottom of my ankles, so nobody can see that. They can't see those beautifully patterned socks. So if I just knit a vanilla sock, they'll actually fit in my she better. And I won't be trying to walk around hoping that somebody sees my very funky hand knitted socks. So this is, this is my, um, gosh, I'm just, oh dear. Thank you for persevering with me, everyone. <laughs> my legs go all the way down. <laughs> Oh dear, life is never dull, um, especially if you're willing to laugh at yourself. Um, so this is my, now <laughs> I've forgotten, it makes a nice little a mini cow for a doll. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is um, my vanilla latte sock in the Serta. Heart and soul. And I used, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, I think it's the German Twister Cast On. I think that's what it's called. Um, and Bud showed us at the sock knitting workshop that I did uh, last year with her. Um, but I also um, have bought a book recent, mm, late last year called Cast On Bind Off, I think. Um, I can't remember who it's called. Who it's written by, who it's called. I can't remember who it's written by. Um, so, yes, um, I, I'll cap, cap, cap E's? No, cap something, I think. Anyway, cap C's? Something like that. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. But anyway, I might even um, have a really in-depth, a really good look at that over the next week and do a review on it next week. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And I, I actually really like the German Twisted Cast on. It's quite nice. And it gives a nice edge. So, that is that. And I have to say, with this sock, I don't know what I did. I mean, like, it's a top-down sock, but this is so nice and stretchy. I think I just did a normal long tail cast on. And I put it on, and it just, it fit like, like a glove like it just fits so nicely it is the nicest fitting sock that I have ever knit for myself um 
So I'm really loving this. And actually, because it fits so nicely, I think I'm going to be really keen um, to finish off the other socks soon so I can wear them. So yeah, and so that's that. And so yeah, hopefully I don't... We'll see how much progress I've got, considering that um, I've signed up for the Frosted Pumpkin... Um, Frosted... Their, their latest mystery cross-stitch along and the first clue... Um, was emailed to me at midnight last night so I've got that to start but we'll see how much I can get done it's only school holidays hopefully hopefully if the weather stays relatively cool not stinking hot we might be even be able to go to the park and I can watch the kids play while I knit should be fun I like doing that all right well I'm gonna have got my pineapple mug I love this mug I'm gonna go I'm gonna enjoy my warm water and the rest of my Sunday afternoon um, I hope you guys are keeping well and I'll see you again next week. Bye.